Live from Coleman, Alabama, Premier Bank presents Wake Up Coleman. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And again, welcome to Wake Up Coleman. So we are super excited to have you back. We are so glad that this was not like Ebola or something that could have potentially <laughs> have risked Ebola, your life. Ebola, well, hey. no, just a stomach bug. Yeah, yeah those bugs. Yeah, they're not fun. You not call fun. the Orkin man. He'd, he'd deal that. <laughs> he'd, he'd get rid of that right there for you. <laughs> I actually think it's Cooks in this area, is it not? It's Cooks. Uh, yeah, yeah. They have that that old commercial. People know Cooks by. Uh, Are you that, gonna sing it? Uh, yeah. Sure. No. Can't do it. <laughs> it's intimidated me. Oh, you all know it. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, we are glad that you're back. Uh, everyone in the studio did miss you. Uh, and, you know, we're hoping to start seeing the smiling face happen again because yeah. that was needed. Oh, yeah. I'm here. Um, so, while I was gone, uh, it turns out that they have dragged into the fourth day of looking for these missing Hansville teens. Yes. Uh, that is Amber Behan and um, Edgar Medina. And so they are still missing. And we hope that they are having a better luck with that search party. Well, we are and hoping hopefully that this they is will more be of found. A, a, a proactive search that actually is, is bringing some fruit to, to finding them because, you know, we see a lot of these cases where teenagers go missing and they go missing sadly for years and then they either resurface much time later or they do not and we're hoping that with this case with it being so close to home that this is something that they find uh, and resolve pretty quickly uh, I actually was not aware that this was happening until I'd stepped into Walmart the other day and there were flyers up uh, so that was kind of interesting I'd only seen it very briefly mm -hmm. uh, and and personally and I apologize in advance I never I never really read those because of how many I've seen just over the years, but that one caught my attention because of their ages, and I think it was 14 and 15. Yes, yes, and they do attend Hansville, and they've been missing since Monday morning, so if anyone out there has any idea or any clue as to, uh, you know, where they currently are or what's happened, please make sure you notify your local police department so that they can do the proper um, procedures for hopefully getting these kids home. Absolutely, you know, because that's, that's all we're concerned about is the safety of the individuals. We don't want anything to happen. And at that age, I knew personally I was not ready to handle things on my own yet. So when there's two of them that could potentially be together at the same time, that can just get a little... Yeah, the parents have described the kids as obviously very good kids. Um, you know, it's, it was expressed today in the Coleman Times article that um, Amber was not street smart. So, I mean, obviously these are very young kids and they need to just come back home as soon as possible if, uh, you know, we're just hoping for the very best for them. Absolutely. Well, you know, and, and uh, you weren't here for this, but over the week, we've, I've, I've kind of themed it myself without any permission, so don't, don't pin this on us too much. But we've kind of been in a spirit of giving. We're always in a spirit of giving here at the studio. But I like to think of it as kind of giving back to you guys for helping us out. So every day, we try to give out some awesome prizes every day. And I really enjoy giving you guys stuff. So let's take a look and see what those prizes for today are. All right, looks like we've got one family barbecue pack uh, from Mad Dog Mike's. So that's a pound of meat, two 16-ounce sides, and four buns. And again, he is located inside the Berlin Quick Stop. And Coleman Pizza Hut's also allowing us to give out one large five-topping pizza. And if you haven't had the five-topping from there, you have to try it. And again, the Choose Your Treat from Chick-fil-A, which is either a large cone or the chocolate chip cookie, and may or may not also include a meal. Just saying, don't want to spoil it for anybody. So again, if you haven't checked out our Facebook page to find out who the sponsor of the day is, go do that and call us at 256-734-7399. That's 256-734-7399. You want to get those prizes. You don't want to miss out on an opportunity to get some awesome stuff. Very true, definitely. So now it's time for our Facebook friend of the day. And our Facebook friend of the day is Tobias Biermeyer, and he loves Care Bears and scented hand lotions. And for being our Facebook friend of the day, Tobias will be receiving a Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue Sandwich from inside the Berlin Quick Stop. Okay then. <laughs> I'm expecting a very fun phone call from him later. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're going to get that. Absolutely. Well, we've got a lot of cool things going on in the community, but one of them that we always like to talk about on Fridays is the Senior Spotlight. Our Senior <laughs> Spotlight is uh, great. You know, we always, uh, we always do one of those. We are going to be talking more about that later this week. 
So just stick with us and um All right, guys. Well, if y'all will just stick with us, we will have Mr. George Teague with us in just a moment. He's with the charity powwow that's going to be coming up. So just stay tuned and we'll be right back. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead, there are tartlets to take on, and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Welcome back. We're joined today with Mr. George Teague. Now, again, uh, if, if I have to spoil that, I actually had a class <laughs> with Mr. Teague, uh, which is hilarious, and I didn't find that out until today that right. it was here. So we are glad that you are on the show with us today. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much for having me. So, Mr. Teague, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, how long have you been in the Coleman area? Uh, we moved back to Coleman like 1976 after my dad retired out of the military. So we've been in Coleman since 76. So, so much longer than I've been around. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, for those of you that do not know, you are Native American, correct? Um, yes, I'm not. I'm just a little over, a little over a quarter. So that does it that way. I, and I can't carry a federal card, but I could carry a state card, yes, sir. state recognized card. For people that don't exactly know what it means to be native, can you give us a description of that type of lifestyle and what it comes with? Well, it, it's pretty really, it, it's, uh, if you live on the reservation, it's really desolate. I mean, it's really, they're really, they're just, it's, it's bad. I mean, it really is. Um, but to be, to live like my dad being in the military, me being in the military, I mean, it's no different than anybody else. We just... Y'all just have some different heritage We just have different, different issues. We, you know, we believe in God or the Creator, but, you know, we also have things that we respect and honor, like the sun we respect and honor because we get our energy, our heat. That's how we live because if there wasn't a sun, we'd all be frozen popsicles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, and we, and we respect the animals and, and all nature. Everything is created is created so we respect and honor this that you know we show our honor and respect back to the creator by doing that and uh that's how that's why we do part of our powwows we dance our circle is our church that's awesome you know so that's that's how we show our respect kind of like king david danced in the in the streets you know to show the way he felt about god so 
That's wonderful. Um, now, I know that you go by White Wolf as well. Can White you talk to us is, about that? White Wolf is, my, is, is actually my given Cherokee name. Uh, it, again, it started off Howling Wolf when I was real young. And uh, as I grew older and I sat with elders and medicine men and we, they had me vision and everything, my name changed because as a, as a youth changes, their name can change. It can, you know, it, you come from a child's name to an adult's name. Uh, our culture, we, we start off as just little braves running around, you know, and then we become feathered braves. And then eventually, if you do, if you complete enough stuff to become a man, so to say, you become a three feather warrior, in which I do, I do carry three feathers now. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's really interesting. That is great. So can you tell us a little bit about the time that you spent studying with shamans and yeah, I actually I actually went out to Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, lived on the lived out there for a while, and uh, I studied with Shaman Bear Tree and Elder Little Turtle and Fighting Bear and Gray Squirrel and and uh, I lived actually like they lived desolate. I mean, we, I, you know, like if you take a if we just take a fifth wheel camper out there right now, I mean, just an eight by thirty two fifth wheel camper, they would think you was a king or something because oh, wow. it's so nice so much nicer uh, the indoor plumbing is not indoor plumbing it's like we know yeah <laughs> you know and it, it's really it, it was sad to see it that way and I and like I support uh, out at Pine Ridge I send a lot of a lot of little I mean that's not a lot because I don't have a lot of money but I send what I can to help you know them get propane for winter or food for children or you know, and, and always get these little dream catchers. They send them back as a Aww. gift. You know, so they yeah. uh, our people believe that trade is awesome. You know, it's, it's better like if you have something I want. You know, we can barter and trade. You know, definitely. Uh, so it, it's you know we, we try to the Creator taught us to tend to and take care of Mother Earth and the other three races of man. So that's what we try to do. That's wonderful. So. Very nice. Now. You did attend Wallace, uh, and, uh -huh. and from your time at Wallace, you've transitioned to Athens now. Athens State, you actually yes. stayed four classes away from having your, your degree. Right. Now, you are going for counseling, correct? I'm doing a, a bachelor's in behavioral science, and then, of course, i got a minor in human resources, but it's going towards counseling. Uh, got an opportunity to go to the University of Alabama, if, if everything works out right, to get my master's. And I was talking to them, and they don't actually have a counselor for substance abuse, so to say, degree, but it covers mental health and everything. So that's where I'm going. That's where I'm leaning towards. Um, I've just finished a class, and it's a certified addiction coach, peer support specialist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, that was kind of a tone twister. Yeah. And I just finished that, and... Um, I'll just like I just like like 16 more CEUs, and I can go down and take my CAC test, which is it, it'll give me a, certif a certified addictions counselor license. So I'm not a certified counselor yet, right? But I'm working towards that. Right. Now, how did that get you into the organization that you are representing today? Okay. Um, actually, I went to rehab myself. Uh, I am a I've been cleaning I've been cleaning sober for six years. Which I'm kind of excited about yes, because you know, I've never made it that long before, yes. you know. But uh, while I was in rehab, I was talking to the director there, and he was telling me that I should check into this. So when I started checking into it, I couldn't take I couldn't take the classes at Wallace for the HU, the Human Services because of a felony that wasn't over seven years old yet. So mm -hmm. I kind of almost gave up. And uh, Miss Bruner, Stacy Bruner taught me into change into psychology and from there it just escalated and uh, I was at a peer, su uh, peer support specialist uh, seminar and uh, Mr. Cox, Larry Cox, which is over the uh, house right now, was needing help and I said, hey, you know, that's what I'm going to school for and he said, well, you want a job? I'm like, yeah, and he said, company application. Been there ever since. I've been there a little over three years now. Wow. And what is your role over there? Hmm? And what is your role over there? I am the weekend house manager right now. Wonderful. Okay. And hopefully, like I said, hopefully pretty soon I'll become a 
more of a counselor type person. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I know your, your experience will only be able to help other people that have been down that path. So right. can you tell us a little bit about, now I know this is quite, quite a long name, um, North Central Alabama Association for Alcoholism Lighthouse, Inc. Is, right. This is what we're talking about today. Can you tell us a right. little bit about that organization? I know it's a nonprofit, it's funded uh, by the state. Yes, uh, the Lighthouse is a, it's a nonprofit organization. It's a, it's a house for men. We're, we're a 12-bed residential house. And we it's have, a transitional it's home. It's a transitional home. And what a transitional home is, is, is people's already been to like a rehab and they're still not quite ready to transition back into real life because they're just not, they're not firm yet. Mm -hmm. So they come here, they spend time with us, we give them the tools, basically, I'm not talking like hand tools, I'm talking tools, middle tools, to help them deal with life on life's terms. You know, uh, we go bowling every Saturday night. I take the house bowling every Saturday night so as they can learn how to do something without the use of drugs and alcohol. Is, is there anything akin to the 12-step program? This is, this is a 12-step program. Okay. It, uh, we, we, we work a 12-step program. We basically use uh, the AA group, mm -hmm. and uh, our guys go in there, and they learn how to adjust their life to, you know, become more productive citizens. You know, uh, a lot of our guys, a lot of our, a lot of our guys, we, you know, a lot of times we'll get a call from a jail. You know, and they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have no money. They don't have anything. And we'll go pick them up. And, we'll, you know, uh, last week, Wednesday, I went and picked a guy up and went and picked him up in Decatur. And then I had to take him to Tony to get his medicines. And then I had to bring him back and then transition him into the house. And now he's with us. And it's, it's really, it's an uplifting feeling to help somebody. Absolutely. You know. Do you feel like this type of community that y'all have going do you feel that they help each other they do they they really do they pull together real well i mean you know these these are 12 guys that that come from totally different areas of alabama right and everything and they're just they you know they have to pull together they have to keep the house clean they have to they don't have mamas or wives there no, to do no. their dishes and do their make their beds and stuff they have to do this this is what we're teaching them you know the responsibility of life mm -hmm. And it works out really well. They're, they're pulling together real good Well, that's so wonderful. We are happy to hear that. Um, we, we also are going to be talking about the charity powwow. Right. So obviously this is where everything connects, um, your heritage, this cause. Right. So can you tell us a little bit about this charity powwow? When oh, yeah. No, 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 I'm really excited. I'm really excited about this. Is this the uh, first one? This is, this is actually the first time we've done this. Okay. This is actually the first time I've actually hosted one. So... <laughs> I've been working on. We've been we've been actually trying to get this together since May. Um, I've got some some drum groups, about three drum groups that, that they'll sit and drum and they'll drum the music for the dancers. I've got a lot of dancers coming. I've got a dancer that's coming out of retirement. Oh, neat! And he was actually he was actually on the flyer for the Trilliteers for seven years. Oh wow. wow! So he's coming to dance. Uh, I've got some demonstrators on how to make arrowheads. How to make a bow, how to shoot a bow, how to throw tomahawk, <laughs> how to do basket weaving, jewelry making. Uh, I've got, and, and on my Facebook page, uh, we've had an event set up. I've got a hundred, I had 195 people as of last night confirmed coming. And this is really, it's just really taken off. I'm really super happy about it. The community, Coleman, Coleman's community has really, really, really been in support. Oh yeah, they uh, they embrace a lot of stuff uh, like Waffle this. Waffle House has donated food. Uh, Chick Fil A's donated sandwiches. My, uh, Mike's barbecue, Mad Dog Mike's barbecue. Yeah. He's do he's coming to doing a whole bunch of barbecue sandwiches. I mean, Guthrie's Guthrie's and Jacks are doing fries. I mean, everybody's pulling together. Everybody's been real supportive. Uh, I'm just I'm just as excited as I can be about it because I, you know I never thought. You know, when I first started thinking about this, I think, oh, yeah, we'll get a few people here and there, you know. Yeah. But this has just been something that has just grown to, to just be more in, enormous uh, portions. Uh, it's been a great I even I even cooked eight gallons of Cherokee stew, <laughs> which you had some of. Uh, and trust me, if you've never had his stew, you need to try it. You, you might need to get into a business for yourself. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> That's you know, pretty awesome. And I got it done last night, so it's I'm just... This is just something. Um, so that's coming up this weekend. It's Friday, it's Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Uh, we're the gates at Sportsman's Lake are open all the time, but we're gonna have like a little gate kind of set up coming in to okay. 
our area so that way we can kind of keep track of who's coming in because we do have an admission fee and it's uh, adults are five dollars kids six to twelve or three dollars senior citizens are three dollars under 12 is free okay. we'll uh we do have tiny tot dancing the kids that are just little little children they'll be out there dancing for us and then we do candy dance we'll have uh a lot of our dances we'll have what we call a uh, inner tribal okay and it's everybody can dance you don't have to have da you don't have to have no kind of native american you just come out and dance with us and we do that and we'll have uh social dances we call one of them is called the broom dance okay the women have to protect their men away from the broom and that's too funny so it's it's uh it's a big family event I mm -hmm. mean, now what time okay uh we're going to open the gates at nine mm -hmm. for people to start coming in and walking around we're going to do our grand entry on saturday at 10 30. we're going to do grand entry on sunday at 12 o'clock but the gates will be open at nine um how long will it last we're going to run till about five saturday five sunday five ish Okay. You know, we're on Indian time, so yeah. <laughs> we'll come looking at your clock. Oh, it's ten thirty. Why ain't they dancing yet? Yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, we, we'll get there. Uh, it's it's uh, we we do we do request that no firearms, no politics, or or no alcohol or no drug allowed. Matt Gentry, our our sheriff, I like to thank him because he has said he would have patrols coming by making sure everything's going to be real smooth okay and I, you know that I thought that was really nice of him yeah and that shows a lot of support from him yes you know so the only thing people need to know is that there's a five dollar admission, admission charge okay right other than that you bring your lawn chairs to bring your lawn chairs the park, okay. the park ain't supplying seat and we don't got enough chairs to go around so. right <laughs> now if they have any more questions where can they contact you okay if you have any more con questions you can contact me my cell phone number is 256-347-2943 or you can send me an email at georgeteague57 at yahoo.com or you can look me up on facebook you know you can look up facebook you can type in my name and you'll see a picture of me dancing with my late wife there and uh send me a free request I'm, okay i'm friendly to everybody great <laughs> wonderful now is there a facebook page specifically set up for the charity powwow it's an event. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not real great. Yeah, we make just, yeah, we make just type that it. in. That's okay. You know, but you could probably type in events and type in uh, first annual charity powwow. I think is what it's under. Okay. And you can find all the information out there. And so all of these proceeds from this event will help to benefit that transitional every, home. Every penny we raise is going to the lighthouse. I mean, my boss has put out some money. You know, trying to help get things together and. Um, I can't even I can't even begin to tell you how much money I've done to come out of pocket to get this stuff going. But a lot of the good things about this, a lot of the stuff that I've had to buy to get ready to do this one, I can use over and over. That's great, over. yeah. Other than the food, yeah. of course. But <laughs> yeah, keep using that, that would be a little, little that'd hard. be like kind of hard, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh like my flags, mm -hmm. which we carry in the the uh, American Nation flag, we carry in the Cherokee Nation flag, we'll have the state flag, we will have an M, a POW MIA flag, and then I have a remembrance flag, which carries all military people from the Revolutionary War all the way up till today. All right. Because we are, you know, we, we have veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had, matter of fact, we just had uh, one World War II veteran that was Cherokee die, and I went and done the Patriot ride for him. Sure. So we'll be honoring him also. That's wonderful. Well, Mr. Teak, thank you for being with us today. We are so excited we got to have you on the show. And if you guys will just stay with us, we'll be right back. That's how fast the health information technology profession is projected to grow this decade. That's how much a health information technician can make in the first year. Who will you be? Be one of us and get in a Wallace state of mind.
Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. And welcome back. So, you know, we, again, in the spirit of giving, like to give people things. Uh, and one of the things that we enjoy giving out is, is all those awesome prizes that we did mention earlier. Mm -hmm. So, in the off chance that you guys have not come in today or called us today and, and given us who that sponsor of the day is, we'd like to give you one last opportunity and kind of a little hint here to potentially win that awesome prize today. So the hint that we have for you today is which one of our sponsors now offers Tyler Candle Company products? Now this is a little harder question, but we do like to challenge you guys because sometimes it takes a little know-how. Uh, so definitely check our Facebook page today, figure out who the sponsor of the day is, and then call us at 256-734-7399. We want to hear from you. Well, in other news, we've got some interesting things going on out there. We've actually, have you heard about the violent explosions in... Chinese city? Well, I, okay, I've heard bits and pieces of this story. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I heard explosions, you know, with everything that's been going on in China with all their, you know, the, the nonviolent and violent protests that's mm -hmm. been going on, I didn't really think much of it. And again, that's very closed minded of me. I did not realize how big this was. It is huge, and so many people are affected. It's, um, you know, it's just something that at least 50 have been confirmed dead. Um, including 12 firefighters as of Thursday. Over 500 people have been hospitalized, including 71 in critical condition. A lot of people have been affected by this. It's a very devastating situation. Absolutely. And, um, you know, authorities are still trying to determine the cause of the massive explosions. Um, you know, these blasts originated from an industrial warehouse belonging to a logistics company that stores and transports dangerous chemicals. The chemicals that caused the blast are unknown. Um, company executives have been taken into custody. So this is kind of just a mysterious thing that's happened as of late. And, uh, you know, it's just it's really This something. is one of those situations that it, it will be very easy to point a lot of fingers, mm -hmm. but it will take a lot of time to find out who is truly responsible for this. And it's sad to say that, but it is very true. Mm -hmm. And it, it, this is another one of those situations that needs to be dealt with very promptly, mm -hmm. uh, especially since so many people have been hurt and killed. Yeah. Uh, and it, it says the explosions could be felt up to two miles away. They sent fireballs sailing into the sky and left cars completely charred up to a mile away. So, yeah, we, we definitely um, hope for the best for that situation. And in other news, we have George R. R. Martin talks about ending to the Game of Thrones. Now, now if you are a Game of Thrones fan, mm -hmm. this is a huge deal. Yes, uh, Game of Thrones is a series of books that came out uh, a few years back uh, that have grown over time in, in terms of popularity, and it eventually spawned its own very popular television series that has almost as many followers as the books did when they first released. So this is, is very exciting and very interesting to hear that there's coming to an end because mm -hmm. so many people are going to be upset at the end of this. I just have a feeling that people mm -hmm. are going to be upset. Uh, the book series uh, originally started with a book called A Song of Fire and Ice. Uh, and the HBO TV show Game of Thrones was based on, gave a, a quick peek into this beloved book series uh, and how it might end. Uh, if you watch the show or read the books, you probably guess that much anticipated ending to this series would be uh, very bloody, but the author, George R. R. Martin, stated that it would be very bittersweet. So I'm very excited to see how this end goes, uh, though it does scare me, honestly. Because uh, <laughs> uh, he is very 
good at killing people that we like. So. Yes, he really is now. I haven't seen Game of Thrones, much to everyone's dismay, but I do plan on watching it, so um, I am excited to. We'll just make sure that you, uh, you, you catch up after it's all over so you can just watch them all, because that whole year and a half waiting period is not fun. Definitely. Well, and also other news, we've got Downtown Coleman wins a very prestigious award and the Southern Economic Development Council chose Coleman to be the recipient of the 2015 Community Economic Development Award. So that's a pretty e exciting um, achievement for us, so we're very happy about that. Um, the City of Coleman is finally being rewarded for the efforts we as a community have put into revitalizing and preserving our town after the t tornadoes of April 2011 that have went through and tore down all of downtown pretty much. Yes. So those revitalization efforts have been rewarded. We are very excited about that and very happy to be chosen for that. Coleman received this award and was recognized at an awards luncheon Monday, July 27th at the SEDC's annual conference in Savannah, Georgia. Ah, love Savannah. Uh, this, one of those, uh, this is the kind of award that Coleman really hopes that they would get, uh, especially since we pride ourselves on being such a southern traditions kind of town mm -hmm. uh, that does embrace a lot of cultures, which is kind of offsetting for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are very happy to receive this award. We are very happy to represent our state in such a way. Mm -hmm. uh, and we hope to continue to do things in our community that would that allow us to win these kind of awards and at least put us in the nominations for it because we know we're going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, so very, very congratulations to both the town and thank you to the association for uh, honoring us with this award. We're very excited and very honored. Uh, so I don't know, lots of big things going on. I uh, would like to state that the Chinese city that we mentioned earlier is actually called, uh, yes. and I'm going to say this wrong and I apologize, it's Tianan. Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll, we'll have more information on that as that comes out. I'm sure that in the next few days we'll hear more about it. But definitely stay tuned with us on those because on events like that we do like to stay informed. Yes. All right. Well, now is my favorite time of the show, and I say this every day. And I missed you because I was waiting for your retort. Uh, <laughs> I get to talk about the weather. And, again, the weather is brought to you today by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. So make the switch to Mitch. All right. It looks like the average high for today is going to be 91 with a low of 70. The record high was set in 1986 at 108 degrees with a record low at 1965 at 54. Wow. Sunset tonight at 8.07 and sunrise tomorrow at 5.37 a.m. All right, it looks like we're going to be pretty clear today. Now, I said that yesterday and we had like a half a second pop-up shower, so, you know, that kind of surprised me. But normally today, with the radar the way it's given, I think we're going to be pretty good today. Although, we do have a 50% chance of rain, so do not let it scare you. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we got a high of about 87 with the cloud coverage today, so we should be a little cooler than normal. Uh, with 68 being our low for tonight with, again, a 50% chance of rain. And tomorrow we're looking at only mostly cloudy, 20% chance of rain, and a high of 88. So we are hitting those cooler temperatures finally. Maybe it won't melt. Uh, we're looking at the high, the upper 80s, uh, low 90s throughout the week, with the, low si or the upper 60s for our cools for the night. So, again, we're getting that fall weather finally. Uh, I'm not excited at all. Uh, just, just, just ready for it to happen. Ready to get back around so we can cycle into next summer. So kids can be out again. I can go swimming again since I didn't get to do that you at need to all. Just chill out and enjoy the season. I can't. There's, Except there's for only winter. one season. There's two seasons. There's the season I enjoy, and then there's the other seasons. And <laughs> so, I, feel sorry I don't know for either. Fall is the best. I, I'll just let you have that one today okay. since you're back. All right. Well, if you'll join <laughs> us again in just a moment, we will be right back. Fire, accident, storm, they all happen in Coleman County, and for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, Arnelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. It was a moment that changed my life. I'd been training with my team for months. 
And now, we had been called up for the first time. The real deal. Wildfires were getting dangerously close to homes. At that moment, I felt my first taste of just how important the Guard is to my community. See how the Guard can be an important part of your life at NationalGuard.com. And we are back with Community Billboards, brought to you by Pepsi, and the cookbook fundraiser from the Women of Faith Group, Garden City Church of God. Those cookbooks are $12.50 each, and proceeds benefit the church's food bank. Please feel free to contact Rhonda Davis or Patsy Kennedy. And do not forget to contact Ms. Catherine Morgan at State Farm. Uh, she can get you discounts up to 40%, so make sure you contact her at 256-734-4640 to find out how you can save on home, health, and auto insurance. And if you have a community billboard, please feel free to let us know. You can visit us online at mycoolmantv.com or send us an email at mycoolmantv at gmail.com or give us a call at 256-734-7399. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook at My Coleman Television. And again, we are brought to you by Pepsi. And wishing you a happy birthday today, we have Mark Weisener, Taylor Anders, M. Brooks, Stephen Adams, Nan Green, and Joel Hill. As well as Miss Debbie Wood for Saturday. And Jaden Ray and Lawrence Burks on Sunday. And we are about to draw for that weekly winner who will receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Alrighty, so we've had an exciting week in terms of uh, birthdays. I, but that's a massive birthday. <laughs> that's a lot of birthdays. We went from like none to all of them right there. So since you have returned. Since I have returned. And we really don't have any anniversaries. I'm going to let you draw today's birthday. Really? How yes. kind of you. Uh, it's from my soul. So here you <laughs> From your soul, not you even go. your heart. Well. <laughs> my soul is much more important than my heart. <laughs> you, you never hear people selling their hearts. Steven Anders. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, Mr. Anders. You have won an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. And if you've never had one of those, you're in for a treat because they are fantastic. They are awesome. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, if you haven't already found out today, and this one was indeed a bit trickier, our sponsor today was indeed Grand Point Pharmacy Coffee and Gifts. They now sell Tyler Candle Company products. They're fantastic candles. They are a little small. But they do range in sizes and have some awesome scents. So definitely, definitely, definitely go to buy Grand Point and check those out. And remember, if you haven't already done so, like us on Facebook. We want to hear from you. We want to know what's going on. We always want to know what's going on in the community, and we want you to inform us so that we can fail everyone else. So definitely check us out. So again, I cannot express to you how happy I am that you are back today. Because uh, if you weren't aware, a couple of days ago, I was by myself, and that was fun. Uh, I got to really connect. Well, I know. I know everyone just really misses me when I'm gone. Yeah. In fact, if I disappeared, there'd be less of an uproar. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, that's not true. Well, I'm just really happy that it's Friday. Yes. Yeah, so yes. we're going to have a great weekend, and I know what I'm doing tomorrow and Sunday. I'm going to go check out that powwow for sure. Yes, I'm going to drag you along with me. I hope that's okay. Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting me to go anywhere is going to be fun. Uh, and did you know there's a few other events going on? Uh, again, uh, we have some events going on at the Red Door tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some things going on tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we've just uh, packed Actually, weekend. Actually, that's weekend. a really good point. Tonight is Second Fridays, and if you don't know what that is, you're missing out. Yeah, just go. Just walk around in Coleman somewhere. You'll find out. Yes, exactly. That means that our um, our retailers have extended hours. Our restaurants will be offering all kinds of different discounts and specials. And we'll also be out at Grumpy's tonight. Grumpy's Italian Grill will have that entire parking lot closed. Off. We'll have um, all kinds of fun activities out there. We'll have live entertainment. We'll have some other special drawings and different things like that. Call 256-734-0454 for more information in regards to that event if you are interested in attending or anything like that. And so again, exciting day. Exciting next couple of days actually. Uh, really looking forward to getting out there and, and, and getting my, my, my hands dirty and, and some partying and such. <laughs> really enjoying Coleman like I'm supposed to. And like you're supposed to, because we're all supposed to go there and support the community. Yes, that sounds great. Well, happy Friday. Yay, yeah, and I feel the sigh of relief. Yes, <laughs> it is definitely. Friday. Well, again, thank you for joining us today, and I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And again, everyone here at My Coleman Television hopes you have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. <laughs>